This week we're going down the Loire. Yes, and it's the right time of year to be doing that because these wines really come into their own during the summer, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Right from the, the coastal, seafood-friendly Muscadet through to the mineral and rather um, acidic and beautiful Sauvignons through to the medium-dry, honeyed Chenin Blanc and then not forgetting the aromatic and stunning Cabernet Franc. The Loire really has a lot to offer. Yes, it does. Our first wine is the Chateau Salmonier Muscadet de Sèvres 2011, which is £6.50 in Asda. Now, this is not a wine that you want to age. You certainly don't want to leave this around. You want to get on and drink it. No. And before you put it down, show them the bottle now, because most the Muscadet bottle. comes in a bottle like this, doesn't mm. it? Nice shape. And perfect to sit in a nice chiller on a summer's afternoon yeah. for lunch. On the coast, I think. Yeah. I mean, Muscadet comes from that coastal region. This is the wine to have with the seafood that comes from the coast. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what you want, don't and, you? And particularly seafood that's not too tasty, not too saucy and yeah. herby and, you know, something very plain because it, it is... Some of them can be as neutral as anything. This actually has quite a lot of flavour, but it is still... There's not an awful lot of, of richness about it, is yeah. there? Yeah, I mean, it might be that extra year of age, because this is 2011. Normally, we'd be drinking 2012, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, so now? it's, it's so, just got a bit more flavour, yeah. hasn't it? and it's kept it rather than, than faded, which most would. Mm. Good at lunchtime, because it's got it's 12%, you know, it's low alcohol. Yeah. So um, the good thing about gen generally about Muscadet is it's not too anything, is it? It's not too anything. If we can say that. Yeah, yeah, it's not too anything. And what you don't want to be doing with a wine like this is sitting on a November evening, um, spending your time with it and pontificating about its whetstone minerality. Now that's the trouble with us wine writers, isn't it? We can be a bit... Slightly. Poncy about some of our wine adjectives. Yes. And really, it's quite difficult for your general wine drinker to understand what we're going on about. Yes, and Lathwaite's have just done some research um, and they've looked at the sort of words that people like us use to describe wine and they've asked ordinary people, normal people, whether they have any clue whatsoever what they're talking about, what we're talking about. Um, and there are some real howlers that people are just confused about. Yeah, now, yeah because to the man or the woman in the street with a glass of Pinot Grigio in their hand, I mean, what the hell does nervy mean? And do they care? <laughs> is he nervy? I think this is, I think Muscadet is a nervy wine and a good Pinot Grigio would be a nervy wine. It's about the acidity, it's the, it's the tautness, the brightness, the, the, the sharpness of it. Well, talking of nervy wines, for our next white we have this Apulifume which is called Le Rochette and it's a 2011 vintage and it's available from Lathwaite's at 13.49. Now this has the added complication of, as well as being nervy, also being mineral. Now that, that is a very misunderstood wine term, isn't it? Mineral. It is. Now they say that the Puyfume smells of gunflint and actually straight away the, the, the idea is that there's just this little hint of smokiness. Yeah. And there really is, isn't it? It is. In fact, on this one, it, it's like that sort of, you know, when something's just spent out of a barrel, you know, out of a rifle. It's that sort of slightly yeah. burnt yeah. smell, isn't it? And it's very dark colour. It's very inviting. Yeah, it is, definitely. Mm. Bags of flavour on that. Bags of flavour. A nice nip Juicy. of acidity. Mm. Bit of grapefruit. Yeah, and I love grapefruit as a note on a wine. Mm. I really do. And, oh, some citrus, some... And the mineral. Yeah. It has this mineral thing. Now, mineral to me is, you know that smell on a hot day when you get rain falling on warm cement? That's what mineral is to me. Okay. Well, to me, it's, well, 
It's like how you would feel if you licked a stone. Now, I know that sounds a bit odd. Or the smell of when a stream is going over stones and you and it's a warm day and you can just as it's doing you just get that sort of smell it's slightly metallic it's it's well it's, it's mineral chalky. it's chalky, mineral. dusty uh, well how else would you describe it you know? and it's earthy without being brown if we're not helping are we <laughs> no we're not we're not now what we should say of course is that polyfumé is made from sauvignon blanc mm. and the other big one from the Loire which is also Sauvignon Blanc is Sancerre yeah. and just across the river yeah and this this has it is nervy sorry um it has beautifully bright acidity fantastic length I think it's stunning would you Mel would you say it was tongue spanking do you know I think I would I would say it's tongue spanking with a slight air a haunting air of Matchbox and perhaps elder twigs. And people call you NW's Ponce? How can that be? So, our next wine is a Vouvray. It's called Les Grenouilles. It's the 2009 vintage and this is 1095 in the Wine Society. Little frogs! Oh. Now, this is made of Chenin Blanc. In fact, all Vouvray is made of Chenin Blanc, isn't it? Mm. Now, the thing about Chenin Blanc is it's reputed to smell of wet wool. It really is. So, sort of imagine, if you can, <laughs> sniffing a bit of a wet sheep as you're walking through a field. Or your jumper as you're hand washing it. Yeah. A bit yeah. easier. Yes, but, but forget about the smell of the detergent. And obviously yeah. if it's an acrylic jumper, that's not going to work. At all. No. <laughs> but that's kind of what you want to think about, isn't it? Yeah. And this is a deep dark colour. It is, it's a lovely golden. See, really, two, really spangly bright. 2009 is getting old. It is. I, it's, it seems only a minute ago that it was the most recent vintage, but you know, it's, it's as you know, 2013. This, is, this has got some age on it and it's, it's really developing. And there is that wet wool. I'm, there sorry, is, so there is. That sheep is there. So it's a demi sec. It's most definitely medium dry. It makes, yes. it makes that happen to Sandra's face. It makes the same thing happen to my face. Yeah. So you've got it is stunning. a bit of sweetness. You've got real honey flavour, haven't mm. you, in there? Really, really, actually like actual honey. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, but the sweetness is balanced with that acidity, which makes your mouth just, mm, just water, doesn't it? It just absolutely waters. It is so Moorish. You get Vouvray like this, this sort of medium dry, but you also get it bone dry, and then you also get it pretty sweet. And then... It's when it's botrytized, it with the noble rot, it it turns into this sort of luscious sweetie. A bit like us again, then. Just like us. That's places like um, the Cote de Leon, Car de Chaume. Um, and it really can, it can really become quite rich. Not like us, then. Not so much like us, no. Right, for our last wine, we have this red, which is the Domaine de Brian Saint Chinon 2011, and it's available from Marks and Spencer at £8.99. Good price. Now, the Loire is best known for white wines, obviously, um, but the reds are rather gorgeous, and um, this one is made from Cabernet Franc, which is the sort of major red grape. They also, to a lesser degree, use Cabernet Sauvignon and Pinot Noir. Now, the thing about the ones from the Loire, you know, these Cabernet Franc, if you're a white wine drinker, you can chill these reds, can't you? Yeah. And it's a great way of introducing yourself to red wine and seeing... Because they're quite like light, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Very attractive. I've got some sort of biscuitiness Ooh. on this, something very... And a nice, you know, sort of dark berry fruit. Mm. Um, but it's so refreshing. I mean, a lovely it lunchtime is. wine. It is. Yeah, really. And um, actually, this one's quite chilled now. You know, it's quite cool now. Mm. Um, and it, it, it's very palatable like yeah. that, isn't it? It's quite refreshing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a sort of almost like a plum flavour rather than anything else. Um, now, what is the, the perceived flavour of Cabernet Franc, I'm afraid, is pencil shavings. Yeah. But it, think, think a sort of woody note. It's like, as you... 
shave your pencil and you, you just smell that sort of wood coming off, don't you? It's slightly yeah. sort of cedary, sappy. It's, it is almost like the sort of cedar that you might get on, on Cabernet Sauvignon from Bordeaux. Yeah. And I think sometimes wine writers are prone to slightly going off on one. Yes, um, yes. Sometimes in a not very helpful way. Yes, and for that we apologise most sincerely and flamboyantly. Yes, we do. See you next week. See you next week.